the mathematical method used in the principle of moments can get a little bit confusing at times, but as long as you follow these steps, I can guarantee that you will get the right answer every single time. Let's start by recapping what moment is. Moment is just the force applied times by the perpendicular distance to where the pivot is. Let's look at this example where we have a guy uh, standing on one side of a seesaw. And let's just say he's right at the edge and he is 1.5 meters from the pivot. And we're told that his weight is 500 newtons. So when this guy is standing on the seesaw, he's going to tilt it towards the left hand side due to his weight. So the question is, if we know that there's this other guy who, whose weight is 600 newtons, where must he stand on the seesaw in order to balance it? So I'm just going to put this guy on the right hand side of the seesaw. I don't know what the distance is, so I'm just going to call it D. And let's say this guy weighs 600 newtons. So here we can use the principle of moments to work out what D is. The principle of moments tells me that if a system is in equilibrium, or it's balanced, then the total clockwise moments must be equal to the total anti-clockwise moments. I'm going to write down this principle as the first line of the solution. So the total clockwise moment is equal to the total anti-clockwise moment. From this diagram, I can tell that the guy on the right hand side is providing the clockwise moment. So I'm just going to annotate that. And since moment is force times distance, I can take his weight as the force which is 600 times by the distance from the pivots. In this case, it is D. That is our unknown. So this is equal to the anti-clockwise moment, which is caused by the guy on the left-hand side. And his weight is 500. And the distance from the pivot is 1.5 meters. Let's work out what's on the right-hand side first by multiplying 500 by 1.5. That's going to give us... 750. In order to make D the subject, I need to divide 750 by 600 and that gives us 1.25 meters. So just to summarize, when solving using the principle of moment, first state the principle of moment, clockwise moment is equal to the anti-clockwise moment, and then you need to substitute your numbers in and finally, you want to rearrange so that you make whatever you're trying to find the subject. So here's how you solve a problem using principle of moments. Hope your revision is going well. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.